There were large wooden boxes, the kind that hold raisins and figs, and round boxes with paper on, smooth on the top and folded in pleats round the edge, and the children knew what was inside without looking. Everyone knows what candied fruit looks like on the outside of the box. Humming tops, needle cases, pen wipers, smelling bottles, conversation cards, bouquet holders, real fruit made artificially dazzling with gold leaf, imitation apples, pears and walnuts crammed with surprises. Now, all in line, hold the lantern up a bit, Tommy. Clear your throats first, no coughing after I say one, two, three. Where's Bill? Here, come on, do, we're all awaiting. What's up? inquired the rat, pausing in his labours. Oh, oh I, I think it must be the field mice, replied the mole, with a touch of pride in his manner, that they go round carol singing regularly at this time of year. They're quite an institution in these parts, and they never pass me over. They come to mole end last of all, and I used to give them hot drinks and supper too, sometimes when I could afford it. Who oh, will be like old times to hear them again? And when at last a stout servant staggers in with a gigantic pudding, with a sprig of holly on the top. There was such a laughing and shouting and clapping of little chubby hands and kicking up of fat dumpy legs as can only be equalled by the applause with which the astonishing feat of pouring lighted brandy into mince pies is received by the youngest visitors. T'was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Glad tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.